Hi everybody, it's time for us to learn our first of the six assessment tools or strategies that we'll be learning and using in this class, and this one is called Anecdotal Notes. An anecdote is a story, a short personal story that you might tell about what happened to you at the Department of Motor Vehicles or something along those lines. It's just a little concise story. The idea of an anecdotal note or an anecdotal observation takes the, uh, the notion of an anecdote and extends it into a professional practice. An anecdotal note is a teacher's short description of something that was observed in the classroom, a student's comment, a reaction, behavior, and so on, that is noteworthy because it provides insight into the student as a learner. So it's not just any funny story that happened in your classroom, and I assure you there will be tons of those. This is a story that is valuable because of the insight that it provides into the student. An anecdotal note is a way to document an aha moment. Um, when you hear or see something that is like almost a snapshot of the essence of a child. So, for example, you already heard about Eleanor and her exciting pants, and that would be, I wrote that up as an anecdotal observation because of the way in which it captured the open heart uh, that Eleanor brought to school, the, her expectation that she would be warmly received by adults, and as someone who wanted to share her joy with other people. An example from my own experience with one of my sons, when um, my younger son Noah was about four, he came up to me and said, you know, mommy, you shouldn't have named me Noah. You should have named me Yessa, because I'm a very positive person. So you can see how a mom would find that as something very telling about her child, which is why I remember it. So. The important thing about anecdotal notes, as you're probably um, getting, you're already expecting, is that the documentation is critical. You have to write down what you observed and what it shows about the child as a learner. You have to try to capture as many important details as you can and to develop a document that will provide enough information and the right information to enable you to use this document, document to improve your effectiveness as a teacher of this child. A teacher friend of mine shared this anecdote um, the other day, and I'm turning it into an anecdotal um, puzzle for you. So imagine that you're teaching a guided reading lesson to a group of struggling readers. And as you begin the lesson, one of the students pipes up and says this to the group, you know, I think that if we look at every letter and think hard about the sound it makes, then we can just smush the letters together in our brains and read the words. The teacher felt that that was a significant comment um, worthy of being an anecdotal note because it demonstrates some shifts in Blair, the student's thinking about herself as a reader and as a learner. And I'd like you to take some time between now and class uh, to think, to decide what you think might be important or significant in Blair's comment. What, do the, what does the comment reveal about her attitudes, her beliefs, her thinking about herself? Um, imagine that you're this teacher right here. And here's Blair. What would you consider notable? And I'd like you to think about that and then come to class prepared to discuss Blair's comments and to share your thoughts about the situation. The actual act of documenting student learning with anecdotal notes is pretty easy because you can just scribble down the information, scribble down what you saw, what you heard, put the date, and you're done. That's the easy part. The harder part about anecdotal observation is that you have to have a particular mindset 
to always be open to and aware of the possibility that you may have insight into a student at any moment. So it's an attitude of awareness. You need to be paying attention to the kids and you need to recognize things that seem to be significant or important or worthy of notice. The other issue that makes anecdotal notes a little bit challenging is that you have to always be ready because you never know when an aha moment is going to occur, so you have to always be prepared. You have to have suitable materials available, pieces of paper, sticky notes, pens. Um, you, can, you can write anecdotal notes on the back of a grocery list. I've written them on my hand when there's nothing else available. Uh, the key is to document as soon as possible after the incident and to include as many details as you can because the richer the better. Generally, an anecdotal note includes the date, of course, the child's name, a detailed description of what you observed. If the context was important, include that. If the other kids who were involved in the situation played a role, include that. And um, then focus on providing fully developed information about what the observation reveals about the student as a learner. The note might also include conjectures about next steps or uh, questions that, are, that need to be answered, uh, but, but the, the focus is on the date, the name, what happened, and why it matters. That's always the focus. Here is a sample anecdotal note that was written by a Texas um, teacher candidate. So please pause and enjoy reading it. As I said earlier, keeping documentation materials handy at all times really helps you uh, be prepared to do anecdotal notes. You can have sticky notes, index cards, a clipboard. There, we'll talk in class about all the range of ways that teachers manage this process. Uh, you might also want to invest in a teacher apronette, which is a fashion garment that I, um, that I have made for myself. <laughs> You'll see, I'll model them in class. Um, it's something that allows you to, to drag all your, these documentation materials around. And to remember that when you catch something significant, you can make a mental note, but do everything you can to jot down as much info as soon after the event as possible, because that's when it'll be freshest in your mind. This is a typed up copy of a anecdotal note that I wrote about one of my kindergartners in the 95-96 school year, and I just thought you'd like to see an example of something that I would write. Well, you might be wondering what teachers do with all the sticky notes, index cards, pieces of paper, laundry lists, and other documents that have anecdotal data written on them. Well, they all have to be organized and stored in ways that enable you to make use of those data um, and that in a way that's not too time consuming to maintain. And I can tell you that making anecdotal notes and then not being able to find them, oh, that is really frustrating. And we'll be looking um, briefly at two different kinds of approaches. One is the old school method, and one is the 21st century method. And we'll chat about those in class. But for now, here's a quick overview. Old school means everything is on paper in hard copy form. So if you took a photograph of a, a student engaged in learning, you would print out that photograph. You would save work samples in their hard copy format or in color copy, and then you would set up a system that organizes all those pieces of paper, perhaps a file folder for each student, a binder with dividers, an accordion file, and, and there, there are a million things at the container store that can help you if this is the approach that you want, and I've pointed out some good points and bad points about the old school storage system, which is the system that I used and never ever perfected. 
By contrast, of course, the 21st century storage and organizational system is all digital. So if you were to write anecdotal observations by hand in the moment, you would perhaps need to type them into a Word document so that they could be stored on your computer in electronic files. Or uh, I suppose that you probably could uh, dictate and record anecdotal observations verbally and then save those MP3 files in your computer. Um, I have not used this approach and I can imagine how great it would be and I can imagine how not great it could be and there are probably a million other options in between these two endpoints and the most important piece of this is to find something that you will use and that will help you be um, on top of all of your data and able to access them as needed. If you were to choose to type up all of your scribbled anecdotal notes, uh, this would be a template that you could use, already formatted. And this shows what Tanya's anecdotal note would look like if it were typed into a Word document for electronic filing on a computer. So we will be working a lot with anecdotal observations. They're very uh, useful and efficient. And we will continue our conversation in the next film. Bye.